Hello Pisces, thanks for joining me for the June of 2020 Psychic Tarot reading. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different uh, this month. I'm going to use a few different decks. Um, we're going to use the Rock and Roll Tarot deck as always, which is my own design. Uh, I'm going to do one row with that, and then we're going to do one row with the um, Tarot del Fuego. And then we're going to do one row with the Songs for the Journey Home Tarot. And then if you're a Patreon subscriber, we're going to put out three tea leaf cards too. Okay? Um, so let's, if you like this better, you guys can let me know if you like this better. I'm a psychic astrologer, by the way, and uh, I do um, psychic tarot and psychic astrology. And I've been doing it for like 30 years. So if you want to find out more about me, you can check out my website. So this is going to be different. I've already shuffled the cards. So and let me do. I'm going to do a loose shuffle on this. This is for Pisces. I guess I didn't shuffle them for Pisces. Okay. Then you guys can let me know. Pisces for June. If you like this better or just the other way that I always did it. So the first card, second card, third card for Pisces. And then we're going to do uh, this next, Songs for the Journey Home. Pisces. First card, second card, third card for Pisces. These you have to be really careful how you flip them because how you flip them, how they're positioned is, oh, there's another, I'm going to leave it over here though, like this. And then the last would be the Tarot de Fuego for Pisces for June. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. You know, this is a big, uh, a big month for everybody. You know what I just realized? I got to shuffle these better because uh, I, these are all going the same way. Because when I read for myself, I usually just read in the upright position. So let me, we want them going in all different ways. So let's get these going in some different uh, directions. Let's do a few shuffles. Uh, by the way, I want to mention, this is a big month. You know, there's all these eclipses going on and everything. Um, so it's a huge month. I mean, it's not impacting you exactly directly, but everybody's going to be um, impacted by it. And there's going to be a new moon eclipse in the same day that we have the um, solstice. I'm offering those special readings on that, too, if you're interested. But that's really powerful. The solstice is always, the change of the season is always... Um, really powerful. Okay, let's try again. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay. All right, some are upright and some are reversed. Yeah, because I had them all in the upright position. When I read for myself, I don't bother with reverses for some reason. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got some nice bright colors going on here. First card out is the Seven of Pentacles. So you might be looking at some money things. A lot of people are considering, well, what am I going to do with my finances? Take a look at this card. I always like to look at it and try to look at this guy's face. Does he seem happy, concerned? or the, How his face looks to me is always an indicator of what it is. Of course, for these general readings, there's so many people, so we can't really nail it down. But my first thing was like concern. Concerned about money. Money's coming, you know, well, what am I going to do? I've got this much to work with. What am I going to do with it? Um, things have been hold, held up and delayed for you, for, as with a lot of people. Maybe some of you were about to uh, maybe go back to school, or you were about to maybe have some kind of a show or debut your work, like some kind of you, your movie was going to come out or your book was going to come out or your... You know, you were going to have an art show or, you know, something, some big thing that you were planning on, counting on, is probably delayed or maybe canceled because of everything that's going on. And um, it's saying not to worry. That's the worst thing you can do here. Let's not worry. Let's, you know, be, um, you got Nine of Swords twice here, as I'm noticing. Yeah. This is the Nine of Swords also. So you have the Nine of Swords twice. So we're st a lot of people are stressing out, you know. So let's try not to stress out. Let's try to remain calm and, um, you know, just be chill and just trust in the universe. You do have some money to work with. And I do feel like, you know, there's some higher forces at work. With this eclipse season is rolling out here, we're going to have the lunar eclipse on the 4th or the 5th of June, depending on where you live. And then the new moon eclipse in the solstice in the 20th, 21st, depending on where you live. So, you know, it's... 
there's a lot of things going to be changing this month in the collective, you know, in the universe. There'll be a lot of changes coming up. So just hang tight and know that these changes should work for the best for you. Okay, so what's come? We've got the Four of Swords in reverse. So that says things are going to get back into action here. Things are going to be start moving for you again. Um, and then here we have the Two of Pentacles moving out. See how it's moving out? See, if it was like this, it'd be directly upright, but it's sort of moving out. So that's kind of good news, because the Two of Pentacles is, oh, we're juggling the money, we're pay robbing Peter to pay Paul, what are we going to do? And that vibration is moving away from you. So that would mean that stronger prosperity is moving in. You have the Seven of Swords um, moved in over here, also on its way out. That's also good, because the Seven of Swords is not a great card. Is it? Or I have to look it up real quick. I can't remember. Ah, I can't remember what uh, the actual Seven of Swords looks like. Well, not actual, but the, the more common... Uh, Seven of Swords. I'm going to have to look up what that is. I think that's the one. Or is that the one with the... Uh, yeah, that is the one. Where you feel like you've been, you know, you're losing out. That's what I thought it was. It's the one where he's got the swords and he's running away. You feel like you're losing out. And look, if you look at the actual image on this card, it's kind of cool because there's this bird. And she's looking at the things in her nest there, you know. And so the, I feel like that nest is a sign of abundance. This could also have to do with, because you have this, uh, the four cups here too, these fours, this could be something having to do with, um, you know, uh, your, your home and abundance in your home and stuff like that. Okay, so then we move on. We do have the nine of swords again. So this worry is cropping up again. And, you know, you have to just... Trust. Trust in the universe. That's all you have to do. That we're, we're all going under some big, you know, big changes here. And um, it's just, you know, it's just, uh, you got to roll with the changes. you got to go with it. Um, maybe some of you are wanting to move and you're not able to move because we have the Eight of Cups in reverse here and that is that journey card here. Um, but I still just, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. There is some sort of offer coming your way with the Four of Cups. And it might not be the offer that you want. It might not be the, I, what you want. But if you listen, I feel like you have to listen. Listen and hear the call. That's what they're telling me for you guys. Listen and hear the call. And the call is either like the universe or from within. Um, things are going to work out for you, Pisces. Things are going to work out for everybody, you know. Um, don't, don't go there. This is a great, I love this Nine of Swords because, <laughs> I mean, Eight of Swords. Oh, it says a Nine of Swords. Uh, I was wrong on that one, too. Sorry, when I'm using these different decks, I get a little bit um, mixed up. But Nine of Swords is also, you know, it's the woman laying up, uh, awake at night and crying here. It's worry. Worry and stress. You know, same thing. Same thing as I said. But uh, this is a great depiction of it. But note, like, this are, these are the demons coming after, you know, this person. And what do they do? They just, you know, put up their protection. And this little guy down here, he's just going along his merry way. You know, I like this. I like this image uh, a lot because these are your demons and your worries and you, and the maybe it's the media and everything else that's going on in the world. And he's just like, you know, back off, dude. I'm I'm going down my path here. And as you do that, as you go down your path, then you will find your four of cups here. I like that this deck. You know, the four of cups in the uh, traditional Rider Weight has the. Um, has the cups being offered, but I like that it has this little castle here and this growth coming out of this castle. There's a couple of cards here that are indicating that. The bird looking at its nest and then this castle which would be a home too and then the beautiful growth that's coming out of it. Some of you could start a home-based business. That might, some ideas might come to you from the universe, start working from home or a home-based business. Um, some of you, you know, you want to move on, you want to move on, and maybe you're, you're meant to, there's still things to be finished up here. Or there's still value. Whatever you're trying to move away from or whatever you're scared of, there's value in it. And it's not necessarily anything that you want to necessarily move away from. Things are improving. I love that this too, your finances are going to be improving. So if that is your main concern, your finances are definitely going to be improving. Um, don't, I think that's, this is probably going to be true for just about everybody. It's like not letting the stress get to you. And that's going to be a major factor. Now, Pisces, you guys are, you know, you are so chill anyway. You guys are so, um, 
you know, you have that inner guidance. You're born with it. You know, you're, you're in the flow. Being the fish, you're always in the flow. So money's changing, but it doesn't mean that it's changing for the, for the worse. It actually looks like if, if, you, if you don't struggle, the struggle is over. And if you just keep to your course and not stress out here, that, you know, some things are going to start working out for you. And these eclipses are bringing a lot of changes to you. You know, the eclipses are happening in uh, Gemini and Sagittarius, but that's a square to Pisces. And squares make things happen. Okay. All right, don't forget that I do have those eclipses. If you want to see how that eclipse reading and the solstice reading, you know, both of those are usually really popular. They have been really popular. I've been doing a lot of them. And so if you want to get in on that, you have till the end of this month of June to get in on that and order it for yourself. Now, if you're, I laid out these three tea cards. If you are a Patreon subscriber, you know, you can get uh, additional guidance will be available for the Patreon people. Let me know if you like this new setup. I might start mixing it up like this, using the different decks. I know I'm, some of them I'm not, I'm not quite that familiar with. Um, but, you know, if, if everybody likes this better, we might continue on with this. So let me know in the comments. Have a great month of June. Remember, you are Love and Beauty Incarnate. Please check out my website for additional things. I know a lot of stuff isn't up because of this virus, but I definitely have some t-shirts and stuff that you should see around the video. Thanks for all your support. If you like my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Have a great month, Pisces. Bye.